Hello, hello, hello. Today is the 18th of July, 2024, and that means it's time to hear from our friend, Norm Winsky. Norm, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Jeff. Uh, when I was last on your show, and that was the 5th of July, and uh, it was just ahead of a new moon that weekend, and I'm going to quickly review uh, what we did then, and this is important because this, for example, the moon, if I were just to tell you, oh, we got a full moon, I say, what are we? yeah, we have a full moon coming this weekend, and we didn't look, go and look at the new moon or full moon previously, you wouldn't probably believe that there's anything to this, because there wouldn't be no proof. You don't want, you certainly don't want to trade on my opinion. This is all scientific stuff. You have to show the evidence that it works. So now, the fifth, the weekend of the fifth, had a new moon in Cancer, and that's uh, anytime we have a new moon, full moon, we want to look at financials, grains, precious metals, and oil. And because it was in the sign of cancer, that, that's associated with silver. Then the night of the ninth, AC is after the close on the ninth. We had Venus perihelion. That's when Venus is closest to the sun in its 225-day orbit around the sun. And the Venus markets are cattle, copper, cotton, sugar and wheat and also we're going to include because it's re related to the sun uh gold and gold because that's uh the sun is golden and gold is golden and believe it or not that works okay now we look at the night of the 12th after the close of the 12th overnight into the next morning uh, we had something with the u.s chart i used the where the planets were when the country was founded on the 4th of july 1776 and we have a line up there for that Stocks, that's we look at stocks, T bonds, US dollar, and because it involves where Neptune was on that day, uh, we also look at oil. Neptune is oil. Then we have the night of the 15th, Jupiter to the US chart again for stocks, T bonds, US dollar, and then the night of the 16th, which now we know it was a big deal. Uh, that was that was one of, often I have told you this is one of my top things when the planets get to zero latitude. And on that night of the 16th, we had Mercury at zero south latitude. And we always want to look at the corn, uh, soybeans, wheat, the grains. And let me remind you that the stocks potentially respond to all these events. And we certainly saw that after the night, of, on the night of the morning of the 17th, which was yesterday. This is being done on Thursday the 18th. Here's the corn chart coming down, down, down. But you did get a little bounce into the moon and if you sold there on the bounce because we want to sell on strength buy on weakness then you had a nice big down that day and then it just went flat so we don't do anything when it's sideways on our second date there that was uh, venus uh, perihelion and then we bounced around and then we went up a little bit here and that was a miss because it didn't do it what you would have maybe a small loss here's beans did pretty much the same thing as the corn uh, it was a bounce into the moon and then a big down and then it didn't, it didn't work over here with our last date. Here's the wheat. Uh, now this is pretty nice. We had a pretty good rally into the moon and then a big down and then uh, with a little sideways consolidation there into our second uh, Venus uh, cycle there. Uh, so that was a nothing. And then we went down again and made a nice low here on the morning of the 17th. For our, uh, it was at the Mercury point uh, for the wheat. And here's the cattle, a big down into the Venus point. Venus is cattle. And then you can see it gradually went higher. So that was a winner. Cotton was uh, even better. Big down into the Venus cycle. And then a nice up on the cotton. And here's sugar did not work on our Venus cycle. And that's a miss. Here's crude oil. We had two misses on the oil. <clears throat> Here's your moon. Uh, that did not it usually works on the moon for the oil, but not this time. But it did work here on our, what was that, the, uh, oh yeah, the U.S. point there. And then over here, that was a miss. So we had uh, only got one out of three there. But the fur was good on the Venus cycle. You dig that. doesn't look like much on the chart because this market moves a lot and it's, Every little move is a lot of money. Every penny here is a, a $250. And I think it moved up to about $0.08 cents there. If you bought there, you'd be up about the top there, $2,000 just in one day. 
here's uh, silver uh, topped all right on the moon there before it nice down and we're going to give that two points because we were featuring that because it's the moon, new moon was in cancer and that has to do with silver so we like emphasize that uh, gold even better because we had that high there on the moon and then we had the Venus perihelion there and that started a big rally as you can see so that's two winners for gold S&P we uh, missed there you had a small would have a small loss there then we went sideways for then we chop chop whip saw it back and forth then we got back here to the uh, morning of the 15th for our third point, I say one, two, three, third point, and that was near that high there, and that was a really good high, as you know. That was yesterday, and when we made that a high, and then it had a huge down. Well, that was Tuesday, and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday was a big down, and you can see that worked pretty well on the Mercury. That uh, was Mercury zero latitude, I believe, and here we go. Oh, wait, Mercury latitude was oh, oh, yeah, okay, over here. So anyway, so there we got T bonds. You made a top there on the moon, and then we had the two U.S. point U.S. points there. That was that was a nice low there, and the secondary low to that low there, and then a big pop up there. And then now we're going in the currencies. You made a low on the U.S. dollar, and then we also used the U.S. chart for the U.S. dollar, and we had that low there and that high there, and so that was all good in the U.S. dollar. Then we have the currencies. We just looked at the moon on the currencies. Made a short-term top here, and another short-term top on the British pound. And a, uh, nothing happened on the Canadian dollar. Just went sideways, and so that's a miss. We did not have an opportunity to make money, and that's my measurement. Did you have a chance to make some money? Here we go. We're selling against that high there on the moon with the euro. Had a small pull back there, potentially small profit. Here's the yen a little bit better, a little bit more movement. And if you sold there, you had a chance to make some nice money on the yen. So we had, if you add up the green arrows and the red arrows, you had 20, hold on, I lost my mouse, sorry about that. You had uh, 24 winners, 7 misses out of 31 for 77.42%. Now here's what's coming up this weekend, this is Thursday. And this weekend, after the 19th uh, close, we'll have a full moon in the sign of Capricorn. So we'll be looking at financials, grange, precious metals. And because it's in Capricorn, we're adding coffee. And then also, we got a, a two, a, a, one more thing over the weekend. We have Mercury, a Mercury cycle. So we're going to have the moon and Mercury. And those are the two big factors for grains. So you want to pay attention to the grains, corn, soybeans, wheat. And we're looking for markets that are at an extreme. The bigger the extreme, the better. Markets going up, markets going down. We don't do sideways. The night of the 24th, Jupiter to the U.S. chart, stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar. Then the night of the 26th, we have two points, Jupiter to the U.S. chart, stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar. And then also another Mercury cycle, Mercury happy helium. That's when Mercury in its 88-day cycle is farthest from the sun. And you want to look at corn, gold, soybeans, wheat. Look for a market on these windows that are the associated markets that are at some extreme. The bigger the extreme, the bigger, better. Here's, uh, I've been doing this a long time. I right out of, made enough money while trading in college to buy a membership on the Chicago Board Options Exchange back in 1975. I was a member market maker there for 12 years, also traded on the Chicago Board of Trade. And I'm a perennial student, I studied all these different methodologies, GAN, Elliott Wave, astrophysics, astrology, music, so forth, harmonic analysis. And I'll be happy to talk to you about any of these things you'd like. I'll answer your questions, call, please call me at 239-594-3939. That's 239-594-3939, or you can Skype and Winsky at yahoo.com. That's M-W-I-N-S-K-I at yahoo.com. Or you can email me at that same address. Looking forward to helping some of the folks there, Jeff. And uh, call me right away. Norm, Everybody have a great weekend. Norm, great again, time after time, in an asset class that most people lose money, you consistently make it. Norm, we'll look forward to seeing you back in a couple of weeks. Thank you very much, Jeff. Bye-bye.